What's going on guys? Today we're going to have a very interesting conversation with something that happened to me that got me to thinking. The internet, I was out eating and the waitress comes to me and says, the internet is down. Do you have cash? And fortunately for me, I always roll out with cash. There has never been a situation where I've been in a restaurant and this has actually happened twice. First time the internet wasn't down. Wells Fargo had cut off my credit cards because they were ending that product. But this time, I said, yeah, I got cash. I can, I can go ahead and pay. And it just got me to thinking, what would happen if the internet truly went down? I would be screwed. I would be screwed. I would have to, because I have been making money from the internet since 2000. It's 2023. That's 20. We're going on 23 years of making money online. And I, I really, really, you know, it, it just got me to thinking. I was like, what would happen to the world? Because if you haven't noticed, more and more of the world has gotten online. More and more of the world is going online. And more and more of the world is particulating and doing things online because with ChatGPT, MidJourney, and these other things that are happening, we're, we're just moving more and more online. And this kind of harkens back to the day. Do you remember? And we're about to go way back. You remember when you would call someone and the phone call would get cut? I got a question. When has the last time that your phone has been cut off? I cannot remember the last time I was on the phone that got cut because I was out in public. Now, I live in a high rise. Some people can get service on the elevator. I cannot get service on the elevator. So uh, I don't know who that is. Maybe it's the AT&T folks I'm riding with Verizon. But question for you, what would you do if the internet got cut off? Like I said, I, I would be in trouble. I would be in trouble. It has been so long since I've had a business that was off the internet. It has been so long. And even with that, even with that, this is the beginning of the new mentorship that is happening this month. You get the power of persistence, a bold guide to achieving your goals, but that's only part of the package. Another thing that you will get is the corporate citizens playbook training. Now, what is that? It is going to teach you how to set up a holding company. It's going to teach you how to set up an operating company. It's going to teach you corporate banking. It's going to teach you how to get big boy business credit. These are six figure, six figure lines of credit. It's going to teach you so much. And if this is the beautiful thing about this, if you go ahead and lock in today, there's a lot of training that is coming in 2023. If you lock in today at this low price, one of the things that you're going to get is all of the training that I am going to do for the rest of 2023. And I can tell you next month, we're going to be doing how to make a lot of money from a very small YouTube channel. That's going to be the training for July. Right now we're working on the corporate citizen playbook. There's a lot of things to be going into. So if you want to lock in on this mentorship, go below and sign up for this mentorship. You can just sign up on the payment plan or you can sign up for the one and done. Either way, this will put you in a position where you can get a lot of training to help you make a lot of money in your life doing business in life. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. Email, mailing, you know, the internet to some degree was still involved a little bit. So my thoughts is if the internet went off, the world would crash. 
based upon some of the stuff I'm seeing. Uh, one of the things I consistently see with parents with small children, the kid would have their phone and the kid would be watching cartoons or playing some kind of game. I've consistently seen that. This is a newer thing I'm seeing. The kid has his own iPad and all his little devices and toys are on it. But yeah, that would be, that would be rough if the internet went down. That would be cataclysmic. And one of the things that I'm seeing is that people, I don't really know how people would act. I have no clue to how people would take that. I have no clue to how people would respond if the internet went down. I think we would have a situation like The Walking Dead. We would have Walking Dead-like stuff going on because if the internet went down and disappeared, so many networks would be destroyed. So many things would be hampered. And, you know, it just got me to thinking because that is the first time ever that I was at a restaurant and they couldn't, you know, and once again, I don't think all restaurants use payment prop. Like, let me go ahead and tell you a strange story. Strange, strange story. Years ago, when I got, I used to have one, two, three merchant accounts. If you don't know what a merchant account is, a merchant account is what you, the customer runs their credit card through so the merchant can get paid, right? And one of the things that I have seen and one of the things that I have noticed is when I had my first merchant account, we had to have it connected to a hard line phone service. I'm, I'm going way back. Phone service, like, you know, when, you know, it, maybe, <laughs> depending upon when you're, how old you are, every house had phone jacks. It was a phone jack that ran along the baseboard and you would plug your phone in, right? And we had to have phone service installed in the warehouse, well, that section of the warehouse, to set up the credit card machine because the credit card machine would actually run off of the phone lines. Now, all these new credit card machines are running off of the internet. Huge, huge, huge difference because their payment processing is on the backbone of the internet. And, you know, like I said, remember the last time your phone just cut off? I mean, this was a normal, regular thing where you'd be talking to someone and the phone would be cut off and you would be in a location where you wouldn't get a signal. But lately, that has not happened to me with Verizon. Because I used to have Sprint. Remember Sprint? I used to have Sprint and my cell phone reception was stupid in my apartment at the time I had Sprint. I literally had to go out on the patio to make a phone call because my connection was so bad. And that was like 2008-ish, 9-ish. And then I left Sprint, got with Verizon. I've been with Verizon 15, 16 years. And that's when a lot of, you know, Verizon is the most expensive phone service. It is. But for me, it's been reliable. And when I was doing the car rental business, I had AT&T on two phones and I was using the AT&T. And I don't really know because like I'm not in a mood to switch my phone service, but I'm just kind of talking about how things used to be and where we are today and how different things are today. But yeah, I'd be screwed if the Internet went down. I, I would be 100% screwed. I would have to go back to, and how would this operate? Because here's another thing. If the internet went down, there's a lot of major corporations that have voice over IP. 
What's voice over IP? Voice over over the internet. Their phone system is virtually on the internet. Yeah, we would have a, a sheer collapse. We would have a sheer collapse. We would, we would be really, really wilding out if the internet went down. We would be, it would be pretty, pretty bad. It would be pretty, pretty bad. Especially for so many things that we do. Because I'm sitting here, and this is when I got rid of my landline. I was living in East Point. And who did I have? It wasn't Sprint. I think I had Verizon going way, way back when you would buy X amount of minutes. Remember when you call someone, it's like, hey man, you gotta go using up all my minutes. And I'm Verizon had introduced this package of free nights and weekends. And if I remember correctly, I bought the baller package, which was like 1500 minutes, I believe, which was enough to get me through the week and work and stuff. And evenings and weekends were free. And at that juncture, I decided to get rid of my home phone because I never used it. I never used my home phone, so I, it had to go. And, you know, just as we're having this conversation about technology, it's really, really wild when you start to think back to how things used to be. I actually remember when the answering machine came out. Hey, you reached Gwen. I'll give you, just leave a message. I'll hit you back. I remember when the answering machine came out. I remember when call interruption came out. Shoot, I remember when cable came out. I remember when MTV was on. And it is just showing us that we have become so attached to technology that honestly, I do not know what my life would look like without the internet. I have no clue. I can't even imagine what my life would look like. I have no clue because I remember getting my first computer 1998 in 1995 was when Comp USA and all of these computer stores were big and they were bold. And I got my first personal computer, home computer, 1998. And man, that, back then that thing was, it was very expensive. Uh, I got the max RAM, I got the max storage. I had a 17 inch huge heavy monitor. And I had a laser, I had a, a printer. And just kind of looking back, looking over the evolution of growth, I honestly could not see myself with a different service. Well, without the technology, without the computers, because, you know, I'm very heavy on tech. Uh, typically, the only reason that I upgrade my phone is not because there's anything wrong with my phone. It's just I want to stay abreast of technology because technology changes so much. And also, for those of you who are unaware, AI has been on your phone for years. AI is what does the spell correct. Oh, remember when autocorrect was bananas? It would have you sounding like a straight up fool. I cannot imagine my life at this juncture without the internet. I can't see it. I just can't see it. How do you feel if the internet was to disappear? How would that impact your life? Because, and as I sit here and I go deeper and deeper, I just can't imagine. It is really 
a scary situation to imagine life without the internet today. That is a very, very scary situation. I can't see it. I can't fathom it. it, it it's kind of crazy. It is really, really crazy to imagine life without internet access. Can't see it, just can't see it. And you know, that, that was just a little chat about something that happened because other than the time that they could, my credit cards wouldn't convert. And this is one of the reasons that I always carry uh, my business credit cards, which are my primary driver. I carry American Express is my primary driver. Then I have two backup credit cards and I have a personal credit card in my wallet. And I always have cash, always have cash. I, I never leave the house without cash because even though we live for the most parts, it works. Uh, my credit cards have worked. I had a question. Someone was like, do you write a check to pay your credit cards? And that had me thinking. It's been 15, 20 years. I cannot remember the last time that I wrote a check to pay a credit card. I always pay through the apps. I have not. I can't remember. Honestly, the only thing that I write a check for every month because I pay my rent here with credit cards is my office rent, which <laughs> incidentally I don't even use except to park cars. That's the only thing that I write a check out for. And I think, you know, the guy sent me some stuff. I think there's a way to pay online where you can pay with ACH. I'm not sure. But... As I sit here, I am completely blown away at how much technology has impacted our situation, our lifestyle, the things that we do, the things that we have, the things that we build, the things that we create. It's massively amazing. And here's something that's kind of funny. My cell phone, I've got two cell phones. I cannot get rid of those numbers because I cannot remember what internet protocols I have access because like this, this thing, you know, with my bank, uh, I could give you the password to my checking account and you still couldn't get in. Uh, essentially, whenever I log into a new browser or a new phone, it will not let me in and it will send me what's called a demand code to my e email address for me to get into my bank accounts. And you know, it, it, it's kind of crazy. I could give you the password. I could give you the email address. Now, some hackers might figure a way around it. I don't know. I'm not going to give you my password, but one of the things that I am seeing as we get into this internet space, as we get into building out and as we get into creating is our reliance on technology has become insanely superhuman that we could not exist without technology. Just simply can't. Just simply, we, we just simply cannot exist without technology today the way that it is the way that it's set up just couldn't do it just couldn't do it just some random thoughts that came from an incident that happened this morning because I was kind of shocked because once again you know uh, I'm probably gonna do a video my daily carry I never leave my house without my credit cards without cash without certain things, I just don't. And you, you've got to be in that position where you are prepared for anything. That is the first time that I have used cash to pay for a meal. Because the, the time that my Wells Fargo credit cards, they were both shut off, 
I actually had a personal credit card on me and I used that to pay for the meal. Um, very, very interesting. Really, really interesting things that are going on. All right, it is May and we've got some new training, some new training, some new things that are getting ready to drop. We've got some things that we're working on. So number one, get the money course. That's gonna help you a lot, get the money course. Number two, I have the new training called the Corporate Citizen Playbook, which will teach you how to set up a holding company, teach you how to set up an anonymous company, teach you how to do so much, teach you how to get business credit, teach you how to set up your business checking, teach you a lot of different things that will help you become successful in business because this course is going to be much longer than the productivity course because there's going to be a lot in it and it's going to be many many things that you will need to go ahead start your business get up and running and i have an offer if you go ahead and get in the corporate citizen playbook because like i said i've got a lot of plans this year a lot of stuff that's gonna help because I can already tell you what's gonna happen after the Corporate Citizen Playbook, how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. That's gonna be the next training, which should be July. And there's more, and there's gonna be a copywriting course. So if you wanna get all of this, how to make money business training, just go below, use the promo code JUMP, J-U-M-P, to get off a serious discount so you could go ahead and position yourself for all this training that's coming up, for all the things that we're getting ready to do, for all the moves that we're getting ready to make. My name is Glendon Cameron. The, the, the comment, it will be in the first comment. And if it's not in the first comment, but it should be in the first comment, it will be in the description. Everything that you need to go ahead and jump into this course, everything you need to get set up, everything you need to build and set things up. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.